What's up everybody? This is your boy JP and I got a hot video for y'all today. Man, fresh out the store, fresh out the wrap. Picked it up this afternoon after work. This is the Razer Phone 2. Obviously. And man, this thing is clean. It is bad. I never had I never had the original Razer Phone. Um it had a fire deal at Best Buy. A month or so ago for 165 I was too late to picking it up. That was around the same time the uh, the regular blue Vivo 11 came out and I was getting that too. And that's when I had noticed a sale. But by the time I clicked on it, it was already sold out. Wasn't available in any store. But um, I never experienced the original Razer phone. And a gaming phone is something that I would have really liked. Uh, growing up as a kid, I always said that eventually um, your handhelds would become your new consoles. I said that for the longest when I was a, when I was a kid, when I was in elementary school. And you wouldn't believe how many old friends, old classmates I run into um, that that just stopped me. And they're like, Justin, they're like, man, you were... You were so right about what you say. I'll never forget what you said about about your handheld becoming your console someday, and you know it's 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 be, it's becoming just that, and um, I mean it's even becoming your phone now. You know, um, um, I, I I honestly I used to be a huge 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 gamer, big time. Used to win awards at the arcades. But um, honestly, I haven't even had a console since the PS3. And the only reason I had a PS3 was for the latest Final Fantasy at the time. Now I just get them on my PC and I can barely play them then. But um, most of my gaming the past, oh man, seven, eight years, maybe even more than that. Because again, I only had that PS3 for one game. And... Um, I mean, my, my brother, who's seven years older, has a PS4, and he's, he, he, I mean, he has tons of games. He plays on it almost every night. But, um, and, 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 and we, we, we work the same hours, totally different jobs, but, uh, same hours. But, um, and, and, you know, me, I'm always on the go, and, um, you know, uh, you could probably guess I'm a big fan of the Nintendo Switch, which I am, I am, and it's rarely ever even connected to my TV. It's usually usually played as a handheld as it is out of the box but um but even then i don't play 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 it uh my phone is is really my go-to source for gaming and, and i play all kinds of games on my phone uh final fantasy 15 pocket edition uh dragon ball legends um i mean that and that's just a couple of games i mean there's i mean it, it dates back since since 2008 when Apple first released the uh, the mobile app store for the uh, for the uh, the iPhone, you, uh, I don't know if y'all remember, but when the second gen iPhone came out, the um, the three G, that was when they uh, came out with the app store, and um, I actually was still rocking the original iPhone, um, and and of course you know that update, you know went for the went for the the regular iPhone as well you know the specs were actually you know virtually the same between the first two generations except the second gen had 3G where the first gen you know only had edge 2.5G if you will but uh so that one really kind of relied on Wi-Fi whenever you need to download games because at that time your games were already 2 to 400 megabytes but um it's it's or, or not 2 to 4 megabytes but 200 to 400 megabytes I'm sorry um, you know, those, you know, back in 08, you know, they were already reaching, you know, half a gig in size. But, um, but, the the, I was always intrigued with the original Razer phone. It just didn't really entice me enough though. Then the, uh, Asus Rock phone was announced and, um, I am a big Asus fan when it comes to their phones and, and, and their laptops. Um, I, I, I will say I've actually never had a Razer laptop, but, um, I, I have always heard good things. I've known about them for a long time. Um, but, um, I, 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 I was getting the rock phone, you know, and, and, and it was supposed to come in sometime next week. And, and then I, I definitely couldn't get both of them, but you know, this was available at the, uh, the local Best Buy when it was originally out of stock as of a couple of days ago, but I guess they were sent more, uh, before, before, you know, before the, uh, the release date. And, uh, 
I said, you know what, let me go ahead and save, you know, that hundred plus dollars and pick this up. Um, cause I got a couple other things I'm trying to get as well. I'm trying to get another, another new smartwatch, you know, and just, uh, you know, just, just, just to name a couple of things. Um, you know, the, the, the Razer phone just has a few things that I like a little bit more. The design of the rock phone is, is, is nice, but it's a little too crazy. Uh, the Razer phone too is also, um, out of the norm. You know, they're what you expect. They're gaming phones. They're supposed to have different designs. The rock phone is just a little, I don't know. I, I, I like it. I really do. This, this just. The Rock phone is made of glass, but it doesn't have wireless charging. I, I was never really big on wireless charging, honestly, until recently when I got the um, the uh, the Vivo 11 Plus from Blue, and then I got the iPhone uh, 10s Max. You know, and 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 I had already had a couple of wireless chargers from previous Samsungs that I had, and I just actually just put them to use. This has wireless charging. Another difference too is that the Rock phone has Quick Charge 4.0. This has Quick Charge. Um, uh, four plus quick charge four plus and um you do get the quick charger and of course your 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 usb type c cable all in the box there um you also get your adapter for the um the the usb type c to 3.5 millimeter headphone jack very nice presentation here very nice see that right there what does that say that you can't even see the flagship gaming i mean it, it's really nice not not much on the back nope nothing on the back uh, but, and of course, this is what you see on top. It's a letter there and, uh, it's, um, just, uh, from the, um, from the, the people that run the show, basically the people that run the company, Razor, if you will. Um, this is the little pamphlet and the cool SIM removal tool that are found in the, this envelope right here. That's on top of this. Uh, these are the stickers, kind of like what Apple does. And, uh, these are really nice. And uh, here's the phone. Here's the phone. Let me um, wipe it down here. There it is right there. It's screen off there. Look at that. I mean, it's beautiful. Sorry for all the fingerprints, y'all. I'm having a hard time finding a case for this phone. You know, good. I just like your cheap TPU clear cases so I can show off the aesthetics. And, and they just have all those expensive cases out right now. Well, only on Razer's website, actually. But um, this glass is, is, is very... This has got to be... This has got to be, you know, the in-hand feel... The glass on this phone just feels amazingly tough to the touch. And, and and it's not slippery like you think it would be, like it even looks like. Look at my smudge. You think it's slippery, and it's really not. I've never had a glass-backed phone that was actually just this rugged. If, if I don't know if I can use that term, but it just... It, it just has a certain feel to it. There's no texture to it, but it has a certain feel, that glass. It's the first time I've had a glass back, solid glass back, you know, n n no no kind of grip on it, but it just it just has a nice grip to it. it, it it's so weird. It just, it doesn't feel slick. It looks it, it feels it, it's just, you know, it's not, it just doesn't, it doesn't, you know, it doesn't slide out of my pocket, you know, like a, like a, like a banana peel or, or whatever. Um, I mean, it's just really nice. You know, you got your antenna land, lines there and, um, this right here is actually the, the power button and it doubles as your fingerprint sensor. And I love that. When Motorola did that with the Moto Z3 Play, I thought that was awesome. Um, of course, Motorola didn't integrate it into the power button. Now, later on, I got the, the, um, the Umi Digi One Pro. And that also has a side mounted fingerprint sensor uh, that does double as the power button, which is what this phone does. Um, and it's it's nice. Um, I like the round volume rockers there too. That is cool. You're so used to them being rectangular, but these are these are circulars. It's really cool. I think the original one had that too, though. Um, and I think it also had the fingerprint sensor on the side as well, because the these two phones just actually just take over the design of the other company that uh, that Razer bought out. I can't think of the name of it on top of my head. I, I there was so many times I almost bought that phone. Saw it on so many fire sales a couple years ago. Um, uh, but, um, but yeah, I mean, the phone is awesome. Let me unlock it here. I do have the chroma, um, on the back lit up. I just got a, um, I have ambient display on there too. I did not know it was going to have that. And I love that. I love that, that, that ambient display. Let me hit the, um, 
And uh, the fingerprint sensor is super fast, by the way. The only thing that's, that, that, I'm, that I'm having to get used to is that you do have to press it in. I don't know if there's a setting to change that. I haven't really gone through it. But um, you do have to press it in before it registers. And it's, but it's quick. I mean, it, it reads it as you're pressing it. Um, that, 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 that's one thing I will say about the Umi Digi 1 and Umi Digi 1 Pro. Um, I, and, and I, and I know this phone and that phone are, are there's, they're, they're light years, you know, of, of differences between those two phones, completely different price ranges as well. But on the Umi Digi one, the, um, the, the fingerprint sensor, which like this phone does double as the power button. It, it is, it, it's, it's compa it's, it is capacitive. If I could, if I could get the word out, it is capacitive. So you didn't have to press it in. You just laid your finger on it, but what I saw, what I what the the what I found with the Umi Digi though was it was very inaccurate. It didn't work all of the time, and I've seen a lot of videos that say otherwise. But I just I guess it's just me and Umi Digi because I also had the Z2 Pro, which um, had the fingerprint sensor on the back, and 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 even then I had issues. You know, you know, it, it didn't always work. It wasn't just it wasn't just as accurate as it could have been. But again, I saw the videos that said differently, so I don't know. But, um, oh yeah, let me turn this phone around here. And, and, and again, this is something, before I turn around, this is something that you cannot see on screen. Um, I do have this set to the 120 hertz refresh rate. It does come default at 90, which is what the rock, which is the rock phones maximum. And even 90 is more because, because every other phone is, is, has 60, uh, has a 60 hertz refresh rate. The phone I'm using now, the Nex S from Vivo has a 60 hertz refresh rate. I mean, virtually all phones do. Your Note 9 does. You know, I mean, you know, your iPhones, I'm pretty sure do as well. Um, and this is something that you can't see on video. It's impossible because nine times out of 10, you're recording a device that only refreshes at 60 hertz. So there's no way to show that, there's no, there's no way to show a device that's refreshing, um, that's refreshing faster. You know, which this does, um, you know, a, a, a better example would be the fact that this phone is also also has a quad HD panel. Again, another thing that the rock phone doesn't have. The rock phone is AMOLED, though. Uh, this is a, this is a, a um, an IGZO display, which is from Sharp. It, it's their technology. It's their version of, of, of an IPS panel, LCD, if you will. But, um, you know, um, you can't show. Uh, well, well, well. Well, yeah, yeah, I, I guess, never mind, you could actually, I, I was going to say that there's really no way to, to show a quad HD display on a full HD, um, but, you know, of course, I'm, 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 you can record in a, in a, in a higher, in a higher, um, resolution, but then you'd have to, then you'd have to transfer it to another device that actually, you know, can play back in that resolution, um, you know, even if I'm recording this in anything higher than 1080, if I go back and watch it on my Next S that I'm using to record this, the Next S's display itself is only 1080. So it's, 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 you know, anything above 1080, it's still going to come out 1080 on this screen. But, you know, of course, you know, for those that, that would watch this on a computer, for example, that has more than a 1080 res, you know, or a TV using something like Chromecast and YouTube or whatnot, if I was recording this higher than 1080, then yeah, you, you could see that that is, you know, quad HD, if, you know, I guess you could. Um, I, I have trouble, as many others do, really seeing the difference, you know, with anything above 1080. Um, but I, I, I kind of can, especially on a lot of your LG phones um, and, and, and Samsungs that are, that are quad HD. But uh, didn't mean to ramble there and get off subject there, but it is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful panel. It really is. Um, I mean, it, it's, 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 you can really just see the clarity in it when you're using it in person with the quad HD. Um, again, I think I'm recording this in, in 1080 anyway. So even if you are viewing it on something with, with, with a higher resolution, um, I, I don't, I don't think I'm recording any higher anyway. Um, if I get requests to though, I will, I will. Um, I just never really thought about it. I do have unlimited data, you know, even on cellular or, or Wi-Fi or whatnot. So it's really not a problem if people do prefer that. Um, but, but even then, even then you're not gonna, you're not gonna see the, the refresh rate that this phone has. And it is something that I never understood when I read about it, but when you're actually using it, it is just, it is very nice.
very nice. Um, I don't know why this is it's just kind of the screen is trying. There we go. There we go. There we go. Just trying to zoom it in there. But yeah, it is. It is really nice there. You do swipe up there. It does use Nova Launcher built in, which I think is really cool. I used to use Nova Launcher, Nova Launcher a couple years ago, and um, it's cool that it, that that you get the pro version, the paid version built into the phone. I mean that is, you know, even though it doesn't have the latest, um, the latest version of Android Pie, it has Oreo. It it practically gets all of the features that Pi has as far as the user interface goes because you know that Nova launcher that's kind of that's kind of what Lover Lova launcher does they 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 bring the new features of the UI to older devices that don't have that update um and of course I know this device is going to get updated to Pi you know in a matter in a matter of in a matter of a couple months if not a couple weeks um so I mean I'm not worried about it not getting Pi um and 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 you shouldn't either but it's just cool that it has Nova Launcher Pro on here. You know, if there's ever a time where this device does stop getting that support, you know, of updates, you know, um, at least it still has Nova Launcher. Nova Launcher does update itself through the Play Store. So you're not having to wait for a firmware uh, to get the latest version of Nova when that comes out. You know, you'll download it from the Play Store and whatever new features the next OS's UI has, you'll you'll get, you know. So that's just... That's pretty cool. I, I I like that. I like that. And that's that's definitely something to remind yourself of if you have the original Razer phone and don't plan to upgrade right now. Maybe you're waiting next year for the third gen. Maybe you're gonna hold off after that. You know, um, not everybody buys new phones every you know couple of months or even every year. You know, uh, so that's just that's just you know cool to know that you know if, if that time when the original Razer stops getting updated, which I hope isn't anytime soon. It shouldn't be. I mean, it's still a fantastic phone. But yeah, um, this, this, um, this, um, it, 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 um, just a really cool feature. Honestly, <laughs> I didn't really know, didn't really know what else to say here. I want to turn my screen back on so I can show you the, uh, the chroma LED on the uh, back, which I think is just really cool. There we go. Yeah. And that, that's, that's bad. That is so awesome. That is so sweet. It's not something I would just leave on. I have it set right now where anytime the screen's on, it's running, and I have it changing different colors. Um, I would I would probably just set it for my notifications, um, you know. But of course, I have I have ambient display enabled as well. Um, you know, I mean, it doesn't really do anything but but make the phone look super awesome. Um, call it a gimmick if you will, but I think it's pretty sweet. I already do. The original one actually looks like it should light up, and it and, and it doesn't. So, uh, you know, obviously, obviously, a lot of people must have said that. A lot of people who own the original one must have said that, and then Razer just kind of put it in the second gen. Uh, they do listen to their to their fans. They really do. And this phone is specked out to the max. I mean, it's insane. Um, you know, um, I mean, it has eight gigs of RAM, Snapdragon eight forty five, of course. Uh, 64 gigs of internal storage, but it is expandable, so that's fine with me. I don't need any more than 64 internal. If it makes the price tag go up any more, as long as it's expandable, I'm happy. Um, you know, it's not really much to say there. Um, and 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 these are the speakers on the 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 top and bottom. I do typically like your all screen devices. You know, I I, I like the notch because I like the screen to stretch. Um, but um, but you know, this is built like this for a reason. You know, it, it, it looks, it, it, it takes an old design that we no longer see um, and, 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 and puts modern use to it with the, uh, with the dual front firing speakers. And um, I mean, I mean, it, it's awesome. I mean, it really, it has so much going for it, so much going for it. But um, I hope that y'all have really enjoyed this video. Thank you for everyone that's been subscribing and hitting me up lately on my other ones, especially the uh, the uh, the ones for the Vivo 11 Plus and the Vivo 11. Um, I've been getting a lot of hits on those, uh, which I expect they are your they 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 are your your phones with 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 lower price tags and they they are phenomenal for what you get. Um, but I mean, if you have if you have the 800 though, this Razer phone is just magnificent. I mean, it really is. It's awesome. I haven't. I've barely even dug, dug dug into it. I had so many errands to run after work. I let it charge. 
Um, I'm, I'm still using my next S, uh, but I, um, yeah, man, I, 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 um, really was really happy. I got to show this to y'all and, um, take care. Hit me up in the comments, subscribe, peace.